Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Shweek Chima, Professor of Nephrology and former Medical Director of Arsenius Medical Care North America. Today we will be talking about a cost comparison between peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis. Uh, we all know hemodialysis is three times a week and this is done when there is end-stage renal disease and patients require renal replacement therapy. Lately, we have been trying to promote peritoneal dialysis and a question arises all the time, uh, is it expensive and what is the cost of peritoneal dialysis? So I thought it would be a good idea to compare the cost of hemodialysis with peritoneal dialysis. So uh, in this uh, presentation, we would have a literature view of the cost of peritoneal dialysis versus hemodialysis across the world. And then we will do our own cost analysis in Pakistan. And then we will come up with what factors affect the peritoneal dialysis cost. And what is the attitude of our nephrologist towards peritoneal dialysis? And how can we promote peritoneal dialysis? So cost of peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis across the world. This was published in 2013 in Nephrology, Dialysis and Transplantation Journal. Uh, and they wanted to prove that peritoneal dialysis is significantly more affordable than hemodialysis in most cases. Uh, and then what's the reason peritoneal dialysis is underutilized? It has so many advantages. It could be offered in the remotest of the location. And that is more significant in Pakistan. There are many remote areas and villages and countryside where there is no hemodialysis center for a significant distance. So it could be a very useful uh, modality which could be used uh, for our ESRD patient requiring renal replacement therapy. And then they also tried to prove that cost of hemodialysis uh, versus peritoneal dialysis when compared in most countries, it's uh, equal, uh, if not cheaper in terms of peritoneal dialysis. So what they did, they did a literature review from 1992 to 2013. Uh, almost uh, 78 articles were shortlisted comparing the annual cost of hemo and peritoneal dialysis from 46 countries. And if the data a research article was not available from a certain country, a letter was written to one of the leading nephrologists asking about the cost comparison of hemo and peritoneal dialysis. So hemo versus peritoneal dialysis cost ratio was calculated. For example, if HD over PD ratio is 1.5, that would mean hemodialysis is 50% more expensive than peritoneal dialysis. For the sake of this uh, cost analysis, the world was divided into six different regions. And uh, the black one indicates hemodialysis is more expensive. The cost ratio is 1.2. Uh, this is a uh, dark gray and then light gray and then almost white. Uh, these different colors indicate different regions. For example, in North America and in Oceania, hemodialysis is more expensive. Uh, versus in Latin America, Brazil, Argentina, it's... Uh, kind of equal to uh, hemodialysis and same is the case with China and India. When you come to Pakistan, uh, based on the response they had received, the peritoneal dialysis was perceived uh, as expensive as opposed to hemodialysis. But we will have our own analysis. Uh, so this is what we just discussed in USA and Canada. The hemodialysis PD ratio is 1.29 and 1.9. Here it means hemodialysis is 90% expensive or peritoneal dialysis is 90% cheaper. Uh, Asia and Middle East is more of a mixed uh, kind of uh, cost ratios. Mostly, uh, for example, India, Iran, uh, hemo PD is similar. India produces its own uh, solution. So that brought down the cost. According to this, Pakistan hemodialysis was cheaper as opposed to peritoneal dialysis. In Hong Kong, hemodialysis is way more expensive as opposed to peritoneal dialysis. Uh, so Asia was like a true showcase of very different dialysis penetration rates. 
and overall rate could be as low as $24 versus $23, $23 in Taiwan. PD penetration rate are very low in most developing countries like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, but are as high as 80% in developed uh, countries like Hong Kong. Uh, it was found from this study that the hemodialysis was 1.25 to 2.35 times more expensive as compared to peritoneal dialysis in 22 countries. 17 out of these were developed and only 5 were developing. And then the cost was kind of similar and slightly more expensive hemodialysis in 15 countries. And most of these countries were developing. And PD was expensive as compared to hemodialysis uh, in nine countries, one developed and eight developing countries. So from this analysis, it was evident that developed countries can provide PD at a less expense as compared to uh, hemodialysis. Uh, the evidence on developing countries were kind of mixed uh, based on uh, different economical factors. It was also found that if human developmental index is higher, the PD would be cheaper. And if the prevalence of PD per million population is higher, the PD would be cheaper. But if more private insurance as opposed to government support is there, then the hemodialysis would be less expensive and PD would be expensive. Uh, if you are manufacturing the PD fluid locally and the duties, custom duties and import duties are very low, then hemodialysis would be more expensive. Versus if there is no, no, no local manufacturing and there are high duties, then PD would be more expensive. So from this, it was concluded that the factors which increase PD cost uh, is dependence on important PD solution, more import duties, no reimbursement policy by the government, low HDI, low PD par parts, parts uh, per million, and less government support. Factors lowering PD cost were local manufacturing, a decrease or no duties. There is some kind of reimbursement policy and the human development index is high. More people are doing PD. There is more support of government. So these were the factors. So let's talk about cost of hemodialysis in Pakistan. In Pakistan, uh, this is my hospital, integrated medical care hospital where we charge 6,000 per dialysis, 13 treatment. And if you convert with the current rate to US dollar, it comes out to $354 per month as a cost of hemodialysis. The government Sehat Sahulat card uh, offers us 5,500 rupees per dialysis. And that comes out to be $325. So these are two prevalent rates. There are some... Uh, centers which charge almost 10,000 and the cost for them would be much higher and there are some economical hemodialysis center usually technician done with not very good quality and they could provide at 4,000 or 4,500 and the cost would be even lower and if in these center you do, do dialysis only eight times a month then the cost would be even lower then there are public hospitals like ours at Janab where hemodialysis is provided free of cost I try to calculate the actual cost on, period, period, on hemodialysis disposables and that comes out to around $175. But we did not include the cost of the medicine in this analysis, the cost of the lab reports. And then there is additional cost on the water consumption, electricity consumption, solid waste production, which is not there in terms of peritoneal dialysis. This was a small study our analysis done by Dr. Salman in Tiaz from Indus Hospital, uh, although the numbers are a little off, uh, the current hemodiparitone dialysis uh, comes out to around 60 to 80,000 rupees. But still, we will do the comparison. These are the number I got for peritoneal dialysis from uh, for seniors medical care. This is initial startup cost of 41,000. This does not include uh, the cost of the surgery of placing in a dialysis catheter. And if you do three times a day peritoneal dialysis, three exchanges a day, 
the monthly cost is 61,920 rupees. Uh, and if you see the fluid bag cost is only 400 rupees, but the, but, but the disinfection caps are 288 rupees. So that also increases the cost significantly. And for four exchanges, it's 82,000 per month. So the cost of peritoneal dialysis is based on the number of exchanges and based on the number we got from for seniors comes out to be if you're doing three exchanges is $280 per month and uh, almost uh, $3,300 per year. And if you're doing four exchanges, almost $4,500 a year, but $377 a month. Uh, if we do APD, since currently we have an APD machine availability per eight liter of fluid, the cost would stay the same. Uh, but if we start producing it locally at a local cost, we could bring down the cost by $100. Uh, and then there are some public hospitals like ours which are trying to provide free peritoneal dialysis fluid and we are trying our best that say a Sulat card should also include peritoneal dialysis as a dialysis modality which could be reimbursed. So the cost comparison shows uh, that CAPD, three exchanges with hemodialysis with a private hospital like ours, the hemodialysis is more expensive. With four exchanges, uh, maybe peritoneal dialysis slightly more expensive. And if we start producing PD locally, then for sure, uh, hemodialysis is more expensive if it's done three times a week and you compare it with the uh, three exchanges but if you compare it with two exchanges even then hemodialysis would be more expensive uh, so and then I found another study and compared it with our current cost of CAPD in Pakistan which based on my calculation is 3300 to 4500 annually in 2022 it's still lower than Sudan, Bangladesh, Egypt, Sri Lanka, China, and maybe comparable to India where they're producing locally. So Pakistan CAPD three exchanges is cheaper than thrice a week hemodialysis and cost is less than CAPD in other countries in the region. So in my opinion, PD is comparable uh, in terms of cost. So that's not the real barrier. So then what is the real issue? Why, uh, why we are not... Uh, why do I think cost is not the real barrier? Uh, because CAPD cost is lowest in the region. Hemodialysis versus CAPD cost is comparable in Pakistan. If maintenance hemodialysis patient can spend $400 on hemodialysis, then why not around $380 on CAPD? Uh, recently, we switched many patients from hemo to PD. It just needs some motivation. Uh, at Jana, we are providing almost free fluid, but still, it's very difficult to grow a program because there are so many other barriers. Uh, if transplant patient could spend almost $400 per month on immunosuppressants, why can't they spend this much? So I don't think cost is an issue. Uh, so in order to look uh, into what could be the other possible factors, I did a short survey. We sent it to almost 110 nephrologists, only 48 responded. 37% uh, fellows in training. Uh, private consultant, academic faculty, SR and above. Uh, so almost 80% had training in CAPD when asked. Um, and uh, only 40% were comfortable in performing, even though 80% had training. And uh, then 50% somewhat comfortable. But anyway, around 90%. Uh, were performing or were comfortable in performing peritoneal dialysis. Uh, then when asked CAPD versus hemodialysis, what would they recommend and prefer? A majority uh, did recommend CAPD as opposed to hemodialysis. Uh, but when asked if CAPD is available at their center as a modality, 60% uh, had no availability, only 40% had availability. Majority thought CAPD three exchanges are expensive than maintenance hemodialysis three times a week. So, uh, which is actually not true. Uh, when asked if they are able to start urgent start peritoneal dialysis, 41% uh, were comfortable. Uh, how likely to start CAPD if it's offered free? Majority said yes, but 
I don't really uh, agree with that because it needs much more than just the cost. It needs a lot of uh, other factors and we will discuss that. So based on that, we concluded that majority were trained but less than 50% comfortable. Uh, then there was a misconception that three exchanges of CAPD expensive than hemodialysis, lack of awareness. 60% centers had, had no availability at the practice side. So availability is an issue. 60% have not performed urgent start PD. Um, so again, issue of awareness and training. And 88% would provide if provided free of cost. Um, so this is what I think based on uh, this information and short survey uh, that this is how we could promote PD in Pakistan. We decrease the cost by local production, import duties and government support. Uh, we have training programs and they should focus on training fellows and nurses. We increase awareness among public doctors and health sector. Uh, we make it easily available in private and public sector. Uh, something like PD first program of Thailand would help a lot. We incentivize nephrologists like in USA. There was increase in 24% in 2011 to 2012 after bundled payment and incentivization. Uh, Medicare savings could be $1.1 billion if the current population of PDs increased from 7% to 15% uh, based on the recent data. Uh, Furnish reward nephrologist and their program. So CPSP certification, which is their fellowship degree, should require a CAPD program at the program and program director should uh, take pride in training fellows. An inexpensive cycler for a APD should lead to local fluid production and uh, make more options available. So for all this, I made a mnemonic of CAPD. So if we could work on the cost and make cycler available, we would have more options. We need to increase awareness and availability. Uh, punish reward system, training by the programs. And we need to give patient dialysis option. In our busy practices, we don't have much time. So we need to defeat that inertia. We need to give them the option. We need to spend a little bit more time. That's the only way we could promote PD in Pakistan. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, this is mostly, uh, this was mostly targeting uh, uh, nephrology fellows and uh, practicing consultants in the field of nephrology so that some of the misconceptions and some of the questions they have related to cost, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to discuss those. Thank you.